welcome to the Virtual Groomer. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. My choice of soap today is Kairos by Grooming Department. Uh, this was, this is a sample and it was generously sent to me by Moa Grooming Department. I've spoken to him in pretty good depth about this soap base and he tells me that he thinks this is his best one yet. Something that I think is important to mention about Grooming Department is they have a lot of soap bases and he is in the process of very much streamlining the products he offers. Uh, I go as far as saying he offered way too many soap bases prior to this, and I'm really happy that he's looking to, I guess, solidify a product line. So I think that's fantastic. He's told me that he thinks this is his best, and we're here to try that out. I've tried some soap bases by him, and I, I thought they've all been outstanding. I've loaded the brush here, um, it was sent to me in kind of this size tub here, which is quite a generous sample. All I've all I've done here is it's been kind of put pressed into this bowl and I've been trying to get as much out of it as I can. So I'm in the process of, I think that should do in terms of the load. The brush I'm using is the uh, 28 mil V3 Tip Knot by Melton at Turn and Shave. So let's get the glasses off and we'll uh, lather this up. Uh, I get into the razor and stuff I'm using when it comes to the time of shaving, but we'll talk about this stuff in bit. I think it's important that I mention there's a considerable tallow scent to this, which kind of sucks because no one really wants that. Uh, he is in the process of making a few scented soaps for this base, and some of them sound lovely. So I look forward to giving those a try. Okay, so we're going to splay here. In normal grooming department fashion, it's whipping up very, very easily, which is pretty typical of his soap. The soap is very soft, like very soft. I think a lot of his, his, his previous soaps, Donkey Mel, um, or the Donkey Base rather, Janice have all been somewhat firm. This is somewhat crope like, but it's also proving very, very easy to lather, which as I said, it's a pretty um, consistent characteristics of his soaps. They're all pretty damn easy to deal with and all have a decent amount of water tolerance. As you can see, this is coming together quite nicely. I do sincerely hope that the scent of the kind of like final products for this don't have that really distinct tallowy smell because that honestly does ruin the experience of a soap for me. I'm not judging it too harshly here because this is a bare soap base and I highly doubt it's going to offer anything unscented. But as you can see, it's doing a fantastic job in building a lather. So the lather is very quite dense.
like a lot of his other stuff, also very low structure. He's not deaf, well, I mean, grooming department generally don't have those very, like, voluminous lathers. They're very dense, but very low structure, which is my preference, personally. I'd actually say the water tolerance on this is actually a little bit better than some of his other soaps. Better than Nye. Better than Janus Tallow. Okay, let's see what happens when we start painting water in. See what sort of results we get. So this is the telltale sign for me. This really shows its water tolerance. Can handle that. Okay, do it again. So I'm trying to push this up to its limits here, seeing how much water it can handle. Very dense. Very dense. Quite rich in terms of just just general. I can tell how slick this is already. Let's have a look here. Yeah, I think we're good. I think that can handle slightly more water, which I would say is a little bit above some of his other soaps, which is obviously positive. It is for me anyway. Okay, the razor we're going to be using is the polished Christopher Bradley from Carl Shaving Co., which is the company I work for. And the blade in this is a third use Paul Silver. I mean, it goes without saying at this point. It's very good. Uh, it's kind of what he does. Is it better than Nye? It's a bit early to tell. I'd say the tallowy scent has gone away for the most part. It's kind of just a soapy scent on my face now. This guy just makes ridiculous soap places, honestly. That glide is absurd. <laughs> I don't exaggerate either. I try to remain as real as I can with this stuff. I'll leave the exaggerating to other people. but I can tell you that it's very good. Okay, let's uh, get some water on the face and we'll kind of have a look at the residual slickness. I'm directly comparing this to Nye. So, 
off the bat, what I can tell you is kind of like that sticky, fatty layer I discuss is a bit more evident in this than night. Might very well be because this is a tallow base. When Nye was a vegan base. Yeah, there's this kind of ingrained slick fattiness. I mean, you can see just how dense the film is on my skin. It's outstanding, outstandingly good, but then that's just what I expect from him at this point. So am I surprised? No, not at all. I also use an eye with a very smooth razor, so I can't attribute it to that. I use an eye with a home-like start razor, which is very smooth in its own right. Okay, let's go with the second pass here and see. Yeah. Like I referenced in my Nordisk video, swoosh. Like, I mean, you can hear that. It's a swoosh. To me, that shows the slickness is amazing. And the razor's blade clamping is phenomenal. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what more to say. Other than it's very, very good. <laughs> because really, is what I expect from him. Yeah, I think we're good here. Let's have a bit of a face wash and then we'll uh, kind of like get into this toe shave. The lather has very nice density. It's quite a light lather and I would, I would say it's pretty characteristic of quite a lot of the soaps he makes. They don't have that weight on your skin. Like, if I was to compare like this to an opposite soap, I'd say Sago. Sago is a very heavy lather. You feel, you can feel the density, like how, how, how dense the lather is. With this, the lather is very dense, but it's much lighter. I'm not sure what quite goes into that, but it's definitely, definitely there. Yeah, there's no tallow scent kind of lingering anymore. It's more of just a soapy, I guess clean scent. So we've uh, flicked out the brush, let's dry it a bit. There we go, and let's wash out the bolt. 
It's, it's kind of funny because when, when I think of grooming department soaps, he, he consistently has certain characteristics. I would say the water tolerance on this is probably a little bit better. Uh, I found that I can add a little bit more water. Either that or it collapses a lot slower with a similar amount of water. But it's uh, that, that's definitely something I notice. The problem is, is he's made so many good soap bases. It's difficult to say like, oh, this is a clear step up because honestly it's not. The fact that it's very good doesn't surprise me because that's what he does. He makes very, very good soap bases. I think the difference here is this retails for quite a lot lower than nine, and I'd easily say it's as good. Okay, let's uh, wait for the water to get cold a little bit because, you know, it's not Edmonton water. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, let's uh, do the face wash and we'll get the color. So what I try to do here, it is important to like blot, not scrub. I miss these parts again. Always do this. The post shave on this, as expected, is phenomenal. Again, it has this very similar tacky feel that Nye has, which then settles to be a almost like a protective film on your face throughout the day. We are though gonna use a post shave product because this soap has no scent. I'm actually gonna be using Pedro Fiasco by the club as the post shave. I can tell though it has a very similar feel and I think the, uh, the post shave would be pretty damn similar. Oh, that's a wonderful scent. Okay, let me show you what I used and I will let you guys go. My soap of choice was Kairos by Grooming Department. New base coming out very soon as far as I'm aware. It's very, very good. Is there a discernible difference between that and I, Donkey Milk Janus? Uh, the consistent quality of them all is they're all outstanding. Can I pick something really discernible? The only thing that I noticed, it can take more water. Not sure why that is, but it could also be a placebo. Um, I, I, I do notice a considerable difference in the amount of water I could add. If I was trying to add that amount to Janus or Donkey Milk, or I mean, sorry, Donkey Base, I find that it would collapse pretty quickly. That seemed to be able to handle more water Again, might be placebo, but that, that is what I found. I also found the lather to be slightly denser than donkey milk. Um, and I think those two qualities exceed donkey milk for me. Uh, it's also slightly denser than Janus and can take more water than Janus. However, directly comparing it to Nye, I don't think there's a discernible difference. They're both excellent. Just, just being perfectly honest with you, my razor of choice today was the good old well, this isn't very old, this razor. This is the polished stainless steel Christopher Bradley razor. Anyone that's waiting for this, uh, Chris is really getting on with it. We've made some fantastic progress in the last week with just general orders. And uh, we, we plan to kind of surge ahead and get those stainless steel polished orders out. So be patient, we really appreciate it. My brush of choice was the incredible Poseidon brush by Turn and Shave. This is a lovely brush, one of my favorites in the den, and I'm really happy to have like so many brushes from Milton because they're all phenomenal. 
Yeah, uh, that's our shame. Actually, and I had a post shame. This is Pedro Fiasco by the club. Um, I wouldn't say it's a direct cologne dupe of Reflection Man. It's close. I actually really like Peter's take on it. It's wonderful. Okay, I think that's my shave today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, are you going to buy Kairos? Or Kairos, however it's pronounced. I would recommend it if it's at the kind of like standard price. If it's at this price of nine, you can kind of pick whatever you want. They're both very, very good. Apart from that, if you're enjoying the content and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. My name is Jack, your host from the Photo Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a lovely day. Goodbye for now.